What up, HyperChange? Get hyped. You know what time it is. Tesla's got a new version of its self-driving software. This is version 10.2. Um, haven't really driven it yet. Just got back from Germany today. We're going to go all around downtown Seattle, do the monorail test, see what's good with this latest build of the software. Let's roll. Here we go. Version 10.2 Tesla FSD. Let's go. What's it doing? Always super exciting to see. Whoa. Always super exciting to test out the full self driving software right after I've been away for like two weeks and haven't driven my car. Cause then you really get like, you just kind of forget what it was. You know, I've been in Ubers, I've been letting humans drive me, um, haven't been trying the FSD. So I feel like it's always amazing to come back to it and just kind of see how epic it is. Going good so far. good here visualization looking a little bit better I feel like incrementally it keeps getting better the graphics are getting clearer the lines are getting more solid Now we're at a really interesting point in the rollout because Tesla started to give this to more and more drivers, um, expanding the beta beyond just the first testers here, uh, starting with those 100 safety scores, moving to 99 safety scores. I mean, this is, the way Tesla's doing it is very interesting. Um, and it's, I feel like blessed that I didn't have to play the safety score game to try and get on the FSD beta because that looks intense. Um, you basically have to drive perfectly. You know, you can't turn too hard. You can't accelerate too fast. You can't get too close to another car or any of these warnings go off and that will impact. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, I found the right lane. Dope. Um, but I don't know. I think Tesla's on the very, very cutting edge there because you it, once you see the safety score, you see how unsafe humans are driving. I think it's funny because you're like, you know, I... Uh, and I think it, it's making us all safer. Like, I bet you there's no safer time than everybody trying to get the best Tesla safety score. So by forcing these drivers to try and get the self-driving software and to be good, Tesla's making the entire road safer, which I think is really cool. Now it's gonna get into this lane. Wow, I mean, I so far, it started off with a little like hiccup, but no disengagements. I mean, really great performance so far. Very smooth right there. Okay, this is a very tight roundabout. Ooh. Okay, so no disengagement, just a slight curve bump. I don't think that hit my rims, so. <laughs> Damn, I kind of knew that was gonna happen, but I didn't want to disengage. All right, I mean, that that is what it is. And so Seattle has a lot of these really weird roundabouts and a lot of them are different shapes and stuff. And so um, that definitely seems to be throwing the car off a little bit, just the angle that it takes the roundabout. But yo, we're still doing a zero disengagement drive. It's pretty cool. We're, it looks like we're batting a thousand so far. We're about to get to this first. Uh, it doesn't realize I got the right away. Oh, no, it thinks it was being friendly. Okay. Wow. Okay. That was so I actually gave it juice right there because I thought we were going to go. Then the other car went, but the Model Y still slowed down, even though like I told it the wrong thing to do right there. So that was very good. Honestly, super impressive with the way it handled that. And I've noticed it's a lot less jerky than previous versions. I want to say version 10 maybe was a lot jerkier and like 
just kind of move me in, uh, around. It would be sudden stops. Um, this is a lot, lot smoother on these subtle things. Um, honestly, making it very human-like with the way it kind of slows down and speeds up. All right, we're back. Now I'm headed to downtown to do the infamous monorail test, which has been, I would say, about 50%. Whoa. Just thought that was a little bit too close. It was fine though. Uh, yeah, I'd say it's about 50% with the monorail test. Um, doing really well with that so far. Has gone from like 0% success on version 9s to I would say 50, a little over 50% with version 10s. So awesome improvement. I have a feeling like it's going to do really good this time. That was our first intervention, by the way, with the post truck. Even though it would, would have been fine, it was just a little, little too close for it. All right, we're getting honked at. I'm gonna give it some juice. Okay, all good. There we go, nice turn. I disengaged it. I don't know. If it, I, I didn't look like it was going to stop there. Lots of cone action here. No, no, what are you doing? Okay, I mean, this is some weird construction. Looks like we've outsmarted FSD with this. Um, I don't know. Is it worth turning it back on right now? Lots of cones. Lots of cones. disengaging it so we can set us up for the monorail. See you in a second. All right, here we go. Monorail test number one. Um, I kind of want to get one of those bumper stickers that says like, my car's an AI in training or something is driving my car. I feel like those are awesome. Okay, we've already got some pedestrians here. First challenge. Doing well with those, nice. Ooh, okay, here we go. Ooh, we're at the red light. Going from this lane, is it gonna go the wide way or the short way? Okay, here we go, and we've got a pedestrian. Let me give it a little juice here. It's going short or is it going wide? Whoa, going short. Now it's gonna have to do a lane change. Okie dokie. All right, now I guess we gotta see if it makes the lane change. <laughs> Ooh. of 
cars in the other lanes. A ton of traffic. Whoa. Fake out there. Oh, now if it waits. All right, I think it would have done it there, but I just <laughs> had to take over because that was too extreme. And this guy's looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> Damn. All right, we got to run that back one more time. Monorail test number two. See, it's already confusing because they do have a right only lane, but like they let cars park in it. So, but it sees it. Okay, we got pedestrians. Let's see if we go wide or is it going to go short? A little nervous, not going to lie. Oh, it's going wide. Come on, go wide. Yup. 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 Wow, let's go. Successful monorail test. It took it wide. That was dope. Buttery lane changed to follow it up. Now it's just flexing. All right, let's do it one more time. Monorail test number three. Here we go. Got the light. It's waiting for this to go across. I'm gonna give it a little juice. I think this actually helps it to have the pedestrian because then it forces it to, to go wider. Let's see what it's doing now. Ooh, is it gonna do it? Woo! Okay, a little bit finicky there, but we, we got it. Going for a lane change. Ooh, there's the monorail. Wow, there you go. Perfect way to end it. Let's go. All right, now I'm gonna give my recap. That was epic though. All right, so first impression with version 10.2, I gotta say this is by far the best version. Definitely impressed me with the, the amount of improvements, smoothness, a lot more human-like. Um, although the monorail test wasn't perfect, I just overall think this was a huge step in the right direction. Um, Tesla's making crazy fast pace with updating this every week or two weeks, so can't wait to see what the next update is. They're gonna expand this to more people. Be on the lookout there, keep your safety scores high, and I'll see y'all next time. But overall, amazing job, Elon the squad, 10.2 knocked it out of the park in my in my opinion amazing progress oh and i also wanted to say like i feel like i've been having more and more zero intervention drives and not noticing them this is the transition to full self-driving software like I'm, I'm driving from point a to b i activate fsd i don't even realize i never disengage maybe i gave it a little bit of acceleration boost but that's the only uh you know intervention or, or action i had with the vehicle as it's getting there we're having more and more drives that are flawless zero interventions um, or zero disengagements i mean this is it's incredible to watch. You know, we knew this was gonna happen, but the theory is that in a few years, it's gonna be like, it, you'll only remember, oh my God, I can't believe I had a disengagement in that drive. Well, we're starting to get there. We're starting to get to the point where it's actually surprising to have a disengagement. Usually the car, I would say about 50% of the time or more now is getting you to your destination without a disengagement. This is incredible. Um, just, I never thought the technology would be getting this good, good this fast, but it is, so there you go.